third hour of the night of the Egyptian M. Tuet and uh, we are at chapter 5 in the book of Samuel and that chapter begins in the upper register here and so we begin verse 7 of the first book of Samuel chapter 5 and as these verses in scripture are moving along we move along this pictorial because this pictorial graphically illustrates all the verses of the scripture as I shall demonstrate verse 7 we start here at this baboon and when the men of Ashard saw that it was so they said the ark of the God of Israel shall not abide with us for his hand is sore upon us and upon Dogon our God and here we see uh, a dog headed ape within a vaulted roof and this has become the Dogon of the Philistines and we see two gods here uh, Anubis jackal headed gods which we shall pick up in verse 8 they sent therefore and gathered all the lords of the Philistines unto them and said what shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel and they answered let the ark of the God of Israel be carried un about unto Gath and they carried the ark of God of Israel about thither verse 9 and it was so that they that after they had carried it about the hand of the Lord was against the city with a very great destruction and he smote the men of the city both small and great and they had emeralds in their secret parts and here we see um, two gods uh, holding uh, emeralds in their hands now we come to this um, cow here and we pick that up in verse 8 of chapter 7 of Samuel and the children of Israel said to Samuel cease not to cry unto the Lord our God for us that we that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines and Samuel took verse 9 and Samuel took a suckling lamb here and offered it for a burnt offering and this um, uh, this ram here has a um, what is known as a sword coming out of its foot, indicating sacrifice. Verse ten. And as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, and here's Samuel here. And the burnt offering is uh, found in the form of this dog, which is Anubis. The Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines and discomforted them and they were smitten before Israel. And we pick up on verse 12. Then Samuel took a stone. Here we see a guard um, with what appears to be an orb in his hand but has become a stone in the scripture. And Samuel took a stone and set it between Mespath and Shen and called the name of it Ebenezer either to have the Lord help us and this uh, orb here is known in uh, Egyptian literature as the Eye of Ra but has become the Stone of Samuel so we move on and we come to these gods here Verse 4, Samuel chapter 8. Then all the elders of Israel, here represented by these gods, gathered themselves together and came to Samuel, here represented in this mummified God here as Samuel, and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. 
so we move now to um, verse 13 and uh, we come to this group here and he will take your daughters to be confectionaries and cooks and be bakers and then we come to this rectangle space here and he will take your fields this rectangle symbolizes space and in scripture is taken up as a field and your vineyards and your olive yards and even the best of them and give them to his servants yeah now we move uh, to a lower register it here to this um, area here and we pick up this area in Samuel chapter 9 verse 7 and we begin at this figure here the god Ketra holding a scepter and an ankh verse 7 then said Saul, represented by this God here, to his servant, but behold, if we go, what shall we bring the man? For the bread is spent in our vessels, and there is not a present to bring to the man of God. What have we? Verse 8. And the servant answered Saul again and said, Behold, I have here at hand the fourth part of a shekel of silver that will I give to the man of God to tell us our way and here we see the goddess um, Bar Kati um, holding what seems to be um, small orbs in her hands and these have become the shekel in scripture verse 9 before in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, thus he spake, Come, and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. Verse 10. Then, saw, then said Saul to his servant, Well said, Come, let us go. So they went unto the city where the man of God was. Verse 11. And as they went up to the hill to the city, they found young maidens here going out to draw water. And here we see three goddesses bowing and said to them, Is the seer here? And they, which are the goddesses, answered them and said, He is, behold, he is before you. And haste now, for he came to the day to the city, for there is a sacrifice of the people in the high place. So um, we can see here the goddesses, uh, and uh, they're bowering, and these have become in scripture the um, drawing out of water. Um, here's Samuel uh, here with his uh, scepter. And here are the shekel, shekels offered uh, from uh, this God here. So we come now to this part of scripture, which we will we'll deal with our uh, part 